would a Mr. RFK Jr. please come to gate C-40, destination Epstein Island? Well, the presidential hopeful revealed during an interview with Fox News' Jesse Waters that he'd been on board Jeffrey Epstein's plane twice, though he denied ever being on the plane alone. Let's watch. You weren't ever on Jeffrey Epstein's jet, were you? Uh, I was on Jeffrey Epstein's jet two times. I was on it uh, in 1993, and I was on it in, and I went to Florida with my wife and uh, two children to visit my mom over Easter. Um, my my wife had some kind of relationship with Glenn Maxwell, and. They offered us a ride to Palm Beach, so I went then, and then on another occasion, I flew again with my family, with I think four of my children, and um, and uh, and Mary, my wife, to Rapid City, South Dakota, to go fossil hunting I, uh, for a weekend, and uh, but other otherwise, I was I was never on his jet alone. I you know I've been very open about this from the beginning. RFK's revelations come on the heels of efforts by Senate Republicans to subpoena flight logs for Epstein's plane, efforts which have seemingly been stymied by Senate Democrats. Fox News' Hillary Vaughn pressed Senator Dick Durbin about why there were no plans to pursue a subpoena to which Durbin claimed such a motion hadn't been raised by anyone. I know who Epstein was, but I certainly don't know anything about the issue. Well, he was charged with sex trafficking, so why don't you want to know who was utilizing his never private been, plane? Never been raised by anyone. Well, Senator Blackburn has wanted to subpoena them, and there hasn't been a vote in your he committee. said a word to me, not a word. Video evidence released by Senator Blackburn seems to counter Durbin's claims the senator asked to subpoena the logs last November. I understand you made some statements about the Jeffrey Epstein flight logs. I had not spoken to you one time about this issue. Since we're in the business of issuing subpoenas now, here are a few more that I filed. A subpoena to Jeffrey Epstein's estate to provide the flight logs for his private plane. Given the numerous allegations of human trafficking and sexual abuse surrounding Mr. Epstein. This is terrible optics um, for everyone who seems to be obstructing getting to the root of who was on Jeffrey Epstein's client list. RFK Jr., I mean, the most damning aspect of this, I think, is that like so many other rich, famous, well-connected politicos, he had a relationship if not with Jeffrey Epstein and then with Jillian Maxwell, who is currently in jail for procuring and facilitating Jeffrey Epstein's sex crimes, getting girls for Jeffrey Epstein to exploit. The, the fact that we have pictures of this woman at Chelsea Clinton's wedding, that we have pictures of her hanging out with Donald Trump, Elon Musk, every rich, powerful, connected, Bill Gates, and that there simultaneously has been so little interest in Congress at finding out more about who was complicit in, in the sex crimes that Epstein um, executed is incredibly damning. And, and the complicity in the Virgin Islands of the actual government yes. post his conviction yes. or, or pleading guilty, whatever he did, for sex crimes initially. Right. Um, maybe you can make excuses for people having associations with him um, well before uh, his activities were brought to federal, were brought to law enforcement. That happened in the in the aughts, in the later aughts, I believe. Now, of course, we know there are some people like Bill Gates who continued to have a relationship with him even after, which is crazy. And I, it sounds like is actually part of Bill Gates' divorce that mm -hmm. um, that uh, his ex wife Melinda Gates warned him about that and was mm -hmm. very troubled by this ongoing association. So I believe when RFK Jr. I mean, it doesn't sound good. I agree with you. But when RFK Jr. refers to the relationship his wife had with Glenn Maxwell, I, th I believe he means his, first his previous wife, wife yeah. not his current wife, um, Cheryl right. Hines. Um, yeah, it could be remarkable. It would, Epstein's just flying around offering free rides to wealthy, fabulous, well-connected political people like, hey, where are you going? I'll give you a lift, in, like in his jet. I mean, it's unthinkable. Um,
you know, I mean, we're not at the level of private jet taking. So some of this private jet stuff is also just beyond my comprehension. I, but sure. Wealthy people are, they don't fly like the rest of us. They're, they call up their... The PJ? Their, they call up Epstein, I guess. Yeah, look, I, I, I take all of that fine. But to your point, is there like a social media? Is it like a like a like a Hinge or Tinder or something for connect yourself with the, with the Epstein plane to get where you're going to go? I, I mean, don't... they make it sound like they can't afford their own provisions. But like the, the to your point, Epstein first was brought up on criminal charges relating to um, sexual abuse of minors in 2006. Yeah. So that you know, we have been dealing with almost for almost 20 years with uh, with the reality that this is someone who the law has found guilty of a, a, a genre of crime that we broadly consider to be one of the worst things you can do in the world. And yet people have continued to freely associate with him without consequence, have proudly put forward pictures and images of them together without consequence, are inviting them to their children's weddings. I mean, the level of impunity that people act with, I think is correlated with the frankly, perhaps the knowledge that they were, they were, they, they were never going to be held responsible, that Congress members would do the dance that we just watched them do and, frankly, lie to the press and lie to the camera about whether or not there's been any inquiries into this. P potentially, optically, what it looks like is to provide cover. Now, maybe he's just a really terrible memory yeah. and is in kind of a, a Biden level of you know, cognitive uh, precarity. But what it looks like is people running cover from one of the most notorious sex abusers of all time who also happened to have a lot of rich and famous friends. And we know that Democrats are implicated by this. We know that Republicans are implicated by this. Yes. We know that you know, past presidents of both parties, um, other important tech, philanthropic CEO people. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those cases where it's not really partisan because there's a lot of Im implications everywhere, but but so it's, it's because it's not really partisan. They all want to work together right. to shield you right. from whatever the information is. And the idea, what, what do you make of this argument that RFK Jr. seems to be making that because it was a family outing, because I brought my kids with me on the child sex predators plane, yeah. that's evidence that this trip was above board and just a family vacation. Does that? Is that persuasive to you, the difference between him, him being on the plane with his wife and children versus him being on a solo trip with Epstein? I, I guess he's trying to say that I wasn't there on to participate in. I brought my my own kids, so it wasn't a weird sex thing, is because what people, I guess why you say that. A, but, a, I mean, to me, that's yeah, I, no, one way or another. It doesn't say yeah. that it's impossible to go, to go into a room with these infamous massage rooms right. and have whatever happens. Again, it's well, it's, you know, it's before... Um, it's before broad knowledge of what Epstein was up to. I, I, I'm most suspicious of, uh, most skeptical yeah. of the people who continue to associate with him, even in the wake of the exposure of his heinous crimes. Yeah. But, um, but you know, people should take this into account as they continue to look for answers. Because again, it's, I think a lot of people who are very interested in uh, uncovering more, you know, Epstein clientless kind of information have put their faith in independent candidates right, in well, general. Let, let RFK Jr. say, you know what? I wrote on that plane before these claims about him came out, but as president, I will absolutely pursue transparency in this yeah. regard. And for and all I know, he has know. said that. I don't know if he said um, that. I think, I think that would be much more of a persuasive argument to me than, you know, my wife and kids were with me, so yeah. it's, a, it's a mulligan. I, I, he, I just, I wonder, he may have been asked about it on some one of the podcasts he's done, whether he would release the client li or to try to obtain it or whatnot. So I guess that's a, I, so I'm, I'm Googling it. I'm, I'm not seeing whether he said it before, but maybe he has. Um, we will continue to follow that and more rising right after this. <laughs> 